u MLA jong kanong krem uba Adan Mila Basai Umat mentak kesengi ulara dan ke short duration discussion nani kata kajinya tai hapa iya lewat tauan jong ke jela hai kabadi baka jeng ea jong ke non teaching staff lengba ke skim sama kera syiksa nani kata kinong tray haki school SSA baka ni kajeng ea kajeng ki kalong balas lemba ikla dawa ban kinti uno ya katulap ke jong ki ya kabala menjuru dan kibor penyak jong ke SSA hendai haduk mentah Walau ada kandik kajing tawak kalau poin sekatan perlu putih jangan sakar jela hendai kami cuma lalai ayat setia. Kau lihat kemarin kau bawa ada nulara kalau mendawan nak sokar beri mengkenti uno yuk tulop jangkin yang kaya sekolah SSE. Nanti sekali lihat kemarin nulara langkah kandik kajing rak kajung uhu apa yang dibaca orang kalong bau dan uhi nongtray apa SSE. Kau bawa nak kartu kau bawa nyepos nama kartu aru undang penting sah bantray hak ketiga board tray kam. Short duration discussion. Sri Arden Miller Basimoy, MLA, to raise a short duration discussion. Under Rule 50 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business, on a matter relating to the failure of the government to enhance the salary of non teaching staff under Samagra Siksa. Honorable uh, Member Arden Miller Basimoy, to pay. So, so I beg to move uh, and raise a short discussion, duration discussion on the Rule 50 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business on a matter relating to the failure of the government to enhance the salary of non-teaching staff on the summer grass structure. Yes, please. Uh, sir, uh, it has come to our notice that uh, the non-teaching staff under Samagra Siksha uh, has not received the enhancement which they are supposed to receive. So there are more than 1,500 uh, non-teaching staff in this uh, Samagra Siksha. So, so uh, I have gone to, uh, through many petitions written by the staff of the Samagra uh, Siksha and right from the time when this uh, Samagra was known as the State Education uh, Mission Authority of Meghalaya Simam, numerous of letters have been written to uh, the State Project Director to express their concern. And uh, according to the information available with me, even the state projection di uh, project uh, director has written a numerous letter to the education department. So we are made to understand that according to the uh, uh, finance department, uh, that these the service of several societies, agencies, missions, boards, authorities, and organizations which are set up under the government, including those implementing uh, externally aided pro projects and centrally sponsored schemes, are recruiting contractual employees and fixing remuneration without concurrence from the finance department. The finance department has taken up this matter and has uh, uh, convey the message to the education department that there should not be any variation in the remuneration and perks facilities of the contractual employees that are recruited on the various uh, societies, agencies, missions, boards, authorities, organizations. So, sir, on the basis of this, the finance department had instructed the Education Department to prepare uh, their remuneration so that there will be no variation among the other among the uh, organization and agencies. I was also told that other than the staff in the Samagra, uh, other non-teaching staff in other organizations have already received their enhancement. So, sir, I feel that this is 
not the way that we should encourage the education, education department to deal with this matter because we know that with this small amount that they are presently getting, uh, 13,750 per month for grade 4 beyond and this is for SSA and 41,250 per month this for those staff under RMSA. So comparing to the other non-teaching staff in other organization, this amount is uh, too small for the non-teaching staff, especially at the present situation when, where there is sky uh, rocketing of price rise and so it is very difficult for them to manage their families. And uh, I was also informed that there are many teachers, single parent teachers who have to uh, fend the family. So this uh, slackness I would say on the part of the education department has really affected the many families, especially those non-teaching uh, staff who are uh, being employed in this organization. So sir, through this uh, short duration uh, discussion, I would like to earnestly appeal uh, the education department to expedite because I also know that this amount which has been proposed by this organization has already been approved by the finance department. So it is only the job of the education department to release this amount to the non-teaching staff in this organization. So I would also like to request the honorable uh, minister in charge of education to also uh, take up the matter of the SSA teachers. We have been seeing this for a long time, that teachers have to come to the street to demand for their rights. And uh, SSA teachers have not been uh, recognized as the government teachers. So what I came to know is that SSA teachers would like to be recognized as the government teachers and they would also like to see that their salary is enhanced because from the time they joined the service, their salaries have not been enhanced. And so I was also told that uh, they are facing a lot of hardship in the present days because even the bank start rejecting their application for loans. So if this is the financial condition of the teachers who are supposed to be the nation builder and if this is the way how we treat them so it will only reflect the the kind of uh, performance of the government so i was also informed that the areas of the ssa teachers have been have still been like uh, uh, pending with the government and has not been cleared till today. So, sir, with these few submissions, I would uh, therefore once again urge the Minister in Charge Education to take up the matter seriously and uh, enhance the salary as forwarded by the State Project Director, by the Samagra Siksha. And also, sir, I would like to raise one point while I am trying to find out uh, the problem of the uh, non-teaching staff in the Samagra Siksha, that the government is still engaging one uh, officer who have crossed the age of 70 years. So, sir, I think when the government is facing financial problem to pay, or to enhance the salary of the not teaching staff and to pay the salary of the SSA teachers, it would not be fair for the government to appoint or to engage a person who has crossed this uh, 70 years. 
and the government had already issued a notification that no person beyond the age of 70 years will be appointed in the government department. So I would, like to, I would not like to name the person, but he is holding the position of a financial consultant in SIMAM, which means Samagra Sikcha. So I hope that uh, the Honorable Minister will seriously take note of this uh, issue, this problem, and under his leadership, the non-teaching staff will be getting a chance to share and celebrate with your positive response. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other members who would like to participate in the short duration discussion? If there is no one to participate, may I request the minister in charge to reply. Deputy Speaker, sir. At the very outset, I would like to express my thanks to our humble member of the Circus House, Sri Adin Basumut from Nongkrim, for having the concern, like me, like each one of us, and also for bringing this issue in a sort Duration discussion on the role 50 and conduct of business on the failure of the government to enhance the salary of not teaching staff under SSA. Sir, I would like to uh, submit that the SSA non teaching staff have petition have submitted the petition and consultation also was held with the state government to consider in concurrence with the finance department government of Nicaragua. The state government has made efforts to examine this petition and to take cognition to the need to enhance the salary to sustain the living. I also met with a delegation of the association, the non-teaching staff of the SSA, for two times, and we have discussed. That, sir, I may inform the circus house that the total strength of SSA non-teaching staff in the entire state may be different from what the honorable members said. The entire state is 1,241 numbers. And the total expenditure incurred for salary alone is rupees 12.72 crore per year. The fund for salary of non-teaching staff is born under the head of account of MMER, that means Management, Monitoring, Evaluation and Research, which is in mark at 5% of the total budget approved by the Plan Approved Board, PAB, Ministry of Education, Government of India. The fund under this hat also include several other activities such as, such as traveling allowances, hiring of vehicles, research and monitoring, office expenses, meetings and other miscellaneous expenditure besides salary of the staff. The MMER and mark in 2023-24 is rupees 27.49 crore. And the total expenditure till that is 12.46 crore. Sir, the education department is well aware that SSA non-teaching staff play a very crucial role in successful implementation and administration of Samagra Siksa program across the state. Their dedicated approach and commitment contributed significantly to the smooth functioning of the education institutions and the overall improvement on the, of the education system in the state. Yes, sir, over the years, the responsibilities of non-teaching staff have evolved, necessitating the need for equitable salary structure 
that reflect their enhanced roles and responsibilities. So, the department also agreed in recognition to the invaluable service given by the non-teaching staff. The salary enhancement will address the key objective, such as recognize and reward the dedication and the hard work, attract and retain skilled and competent professionals, motivate the non-teaching staff to actively participate in capacity building initiative and professional development programs. So, the last enhancement of the SSC non-teaching staff was in the year 2016, which is eight years ago. That's so, on 12 April 2023, the Executive Committee under the Chairmanship of Chief Secretary Government of Meghalaya had recommended that the proposal for the enhancement should be taken up with the Finance Department in concurrence with the other societies, government undertaking, semi-government enterprises for uniformity in salary select. So, in this case, the Education Department had prepared a fair matrix and submit to the state government for further approval and the fixation of level pay for the staff as per entry level of the Meghalaya PP Commission. The basic pay for all the staff of Samagra Siksa is being classified as per the revised level pay of the Meghalaya PP Commission. The entry level scale is mapped to each designation as per the existing pay package, grade, and the job description and job responsibility assigned to the staff as per the joining contract. The basic pay has been calculated, keeping human resources and bluff in mind. So, based on calculation, the existing annual budget for salary is 12.78 crore. And the revised annual budget is rupees 23 crore, making a difference of 10.22 crore. The state government has taken cognizance of the proposal and await their approvals. So, in this regard, government is actively looking into the matter. And the responsibility and the contribution. And we seize the committed stuff under SSA, the non teaching stuff, sir. Government taking all necessary steps in examining the proposal. Sir, with regards to the what the Honorable MLAs from Nongkrim to talk about the SSA teachers. So there are about 12,000 SSA teachers across the state. And government is trying its best, in a, if I'm not wrong, sir, in last, within the last few years, the enhancement of the salary has been taken place. As a government, by looking at the commitment and the services in serving the education system better, so government is ex exploring what best can be done. So these Samagra Siksa Band teachers, as a government of India sponsored a scheme program, and the government of Meghalaya is also giving some portion of the salary. So they are not appointed by the, in our state, they are not appointed by the state government. They are appointed by the management, managing committee of the concerned schools. But, however, sir, we don't know how long this SSA program will continue. We are looking at all financial implication. Suppose, sir, the, this SSA program is all at the stage of extended. We will, will 
knowing in 2026, government of India may decide to hand over the entire SSA teachers to be taken over by the state government. We look at, we foresee a huge burden at the state finance. But however, sir, based on the experience and the qualification, government is looking forward what best can we do to improve and to help the quality teachers in serving in our in the institutions and so with with respect to the uh, the area issue which already uh, mentioned by honorable members so as per the as per the honorable high court order sir government of Meghalaya has already committed to pay the salary in four quarters and at a very advanced stage we have all education department government of Meghalaya has already released a second installment as an area and as per the committed in the honorable high court a government of Meghalaya and education department will do neutral in due course of time sir, when the time arrives so with respect to the the issue that raised about the individual stuff exiting continuing after even after say, the years of age so we will we'll find out the matter and we'll take a necessary step what is to be done as per the rules later on in the government of Megale. so at very at, very, at last I also would like to express gratitude for bringing up this issue and also sir education in our state as we look at the history in the last 50 years we are still at a young stage the state university medical colleges engineering college is yet to come up the lot to be done so therefore, without throwing the responsibility only at the education department and the government, it's time for every honorable members of the Sagaos Augustus to look from the heart that it's my responsibility too to help our students, to help our teachers. In SSSR, there are many, many schools without students. There are many teachers without teachers too. There are many, many schools without buildings too. Government is not able to complete the entire exercise overnight. Under the ability of our Honorable Chief Minister, under school education missions, lots of government uh, LP schools, and the different high school, school colleges in, in has become up. But it's little, but lots to be done, sir. So therefore, as Honorable Emily's shows his concern towards the uh, betterment of the stuff, I also would like to urge everyone, uh, including our annual members from Nongkrim, to give suggestion, to contribute together, and to Unite the ideas that will take our step forward for next 50, 100 years to come. Thank you so much, sir. With this few reply, I read your message. Now we come.